Tuesday on Home and Family. Country duo Thompson Square is visiting our home. And Chef Katie Lee is making cherry ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Our next guest is the executive pastry chef and partner at the new delicious restaurant here in Los Angeles called Tess. And today she's preparing a decadent raspberry mille feuille. Please welcome Sally Camacho Moller to our home. Hey. Welcome, Sally. Hey. Thank you. Sally, this is so good and I cannot wait, so I'm just going to let everybody go ahead. Because we're not ready. Go ahead. It smells too yes. good. It's Thank so you. good. And it's also one of your very favorite desserts to make. So, as a pastry chef, that is saying a lot. Mm. For people at home who don't know what a millefeuille is, can you explain? It, it literally translates into French for a thousand layers. So oh. it's literally dough and butter. So oh, it's yes. dough and butter, dough and butter, dough and butter. Uh. A thousand times, so it's a thousand mm. layers. And it's very thin, so then when it bakes, it's very light, and it's like leaves and, and very crispy mm. and delicate. But it's mm -hmm. not just dough and butter, dough and butter, dough and butter. It's also that delicious pastry cream, yes. which I have to say is the best pastry cream I've ever tasted yeah. in my life. Thank wow. you. It's so yes. wonderful. Yes. Why is this pastry cream so delicious? Because I made it. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> That's a true story. Good on you, Perfect. Sally. Yeah. Good on you. But I feel like That's it's different. That. I feel like it's different than other other pastry creams. It seems lighter or something. It's it's lighter. I do fold in some whipped cream at the end, so it makes it it's um, very a, light. a like little bit more uh, light with oh. the crispy pastry, yeah. and then with the refreshing fruit. Mm -hmm. It almost it makes feels like it's, it's, it's not a heavy mm. pastry. You know, you feel like, oh, I can yeah. go for a jog after right. this. Do you have butter to your milk for it? I do. There you go. Mm. That's what it is. <laughs> there you know. Got it. All right, <laughs> let's start with this pastry. Yes. Thing. What do we do? So I have here in my pot going is some butter, um, milk, and sugar also okay. to start. And then I've got some uh, yolks, fresh egg yolks. Okay. And then I'm going to do what we call make a slurry. So I... Add my cornstarch. This is my thickening agent. Okay. So this is what makes it um, able custardy. to custardy and be able to stand and be able to be a strong layer with the puff. So it doesn't slip Oops. out of the beautiful yes. layers of pastry. And then I'm mixing it with cold milk. Okay. Cold milk, very important. Why is it so important for the we cold milk? We want the cornstarch to be able to soak up all the starch, and we have to do that when it's cold. Okay. If you add hot milk or hot liquid to the cornstarch, it's going to seize up right away. Oh, I see. So oh, we right. want to make it we want to make it cold first so that it dissolves, and then we add it to our hot liquid mixture, and then we cook that on the stove. Okay. So I just wait till this all the lumps go away. It's nice and smooth. And, and then you lumpy. also have to sort of go slow so you don't cook yes, the egg, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, and then I've got this boiling. So we're going to temper this it. Is, this is going to happen a little fast. There we're going to pull her off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, this is going to happen a little fast. And you also say you like to make this day of. This is not a dessert you should be making ahead of time. No, mm. no. It's just very, you can make the items ahead of time. Like you can do the pastry cream ahead or you can do, you can do the, um, the puff ahead of time. Um, I'll do this. Yes, one. yes. No question, lovely. Why didn't you did not temper? You just put it all in. I put it all in because I also had my milk in here, so that mm. gives me a little bit of a, a cushion, oh, a cushion yeah. so that it doesn't seize but right when I put much. my eggs and my okay. and my cornstarch in there. But that's why so, I grabbed this out of her hand. Yes. Yeah. 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 You're not supposed yeah. to be careful. Right. So but this is this is the this vanilla. is basically the caviar yes. of the whole dish. Yeah. This is the important part. So this is your flavor. That's your floral, and then I just. Split the bean and then scrape the seeds. So that's all your loving fruit and aromatic, mm. and that's really where the flavor is going to pop. And it's important to mm. use the vanilla bean, not vanilla very, extract. Right? Very, very important. That's what makes it separate. Also, that's what makes it a step above. How long does it take mm. for the cream to come together? So it, this this will boil. So it probably maybe about like five to seven minutes. Okay. So you definitely want it to boil, and okay. it's going to get that starch to cook. Okay. So you want it. You want when it boils. It shows that the cornstarch has cooked out. Okay, then you want it to cool completely. Yes, very important. And we you cool. add yes. your beautiful whipped cream. Yes. Fold that in, yes? Yes. So then once it's cooled, it must be cooled, or else if it's hot, then the cream will melt. Oh. So this is where we make it lighter. So then we add all of our cream I mean, in you here. can stop right there, and I, I would just eat the custard. Yeah. Oh, it's so it's delicious. It's amazing. And then we just fold this together. And I like to turn my bowl. Bring my spatula from the bottom to the top. Always You're from the bottom to the top. Folder. I feel like people I are am. so gentle. No, right. if you if you keep the spatula, if you're going like this, mm -hmm. then that's a 
pretty aggressive because that's the gravity is also working and kind of deflating a little bit. But if you stay in your mix, keeping the air, and you keep that, and you're keeping that air, it's very light. And I'm already done. And there you go. Woo. Plus and the cream is put, cold, so the it's cream not melting. It's cold, the exactly. And we put it in yes. a pastry bag. We yes. set that aside. And now for our our very particular pastry. Yes. All right. So, so you say it's not important mm. to actually make your own pastry. No. Your, your puff. Pastry. Not, you can just go buy it. Yes, we have we have very good um, you know options today to to purchase puff pastry in the so store. So Milfoy and puff pastry, mm -hmm. same thing. Same, same thing. thing. Same okay. thing. Interesting the way that you actually prepare this puff pastry. That Otherwise, it it's different. not gonna. Right. So okay. mm -hmm. first we put the sugar. We put it on a cookie sheet. Yes. Right? So we've got our pastry, and then we're going to poke some holes in it so that this makes it not rise too high. Because yeah, you don't That's want it. That's the difference. Uh, so it's not big good. and puffy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And then we sprinkle it with sugar, yes. right? Liberally? Yes. Okay. That's where you want the caramelization to happen. That's why you're tasting all those. Yeah. Yes. Yes. There. I love that top yeah. layer. Yes. Okay. That's now, beautiful. here's the interesting part. Yes. Silicone baking sheet on top. On top. And on then top. wait. And then... Another cookie another sheet. Another cookie sheet. You press it down. Press it. Because that's what won't So you have all the layers, oh, but it great. keeps yes. it all. It keeps it a little bit more wow. controlled. Wow. Yes. Yes. Okay, so now you put this in. You know, it's, people don't want to wow. make meal foie because they're so intimidated. Yeah. But once you see how it actually comes together, you think, well, this isn't that difficult. So it goes in at 325? 350. 350. 350. For, for about 45 minutes. I also stay till, till it's done. You right. You can probably check it. And it's going to be a nice brown. And here we have. And this is how it comes out. We want it to be nice and brown and... Caramelly, and Look then we have, oh my gosh, that's yes. beautiful. beautiful. So that's a perfect puff. That's exactly what we want. <clears throat> okay. So I know. I now, feel like I could actually do this. It's right. very yes. DIY of you. But when yes, you see yeah. it at a restaurant, you think, how do they make this? Oh, fancy. A so fancy. Leads. Right. And because it has a French name, you're right. you pay more for it. Okay. And <laughs> here, here I played a little bit rustic. You can. Cut it, slice it to make it, you know, look look um, into, you know, even portions. But I like to do a little rustic, so I actually right. just kind of break it oh, with my hands. That. Wow. And that's what you want. You want that full uh, bake, mm. that full bake inside okay, there. It's beautiful, build. yes. Okay. So, How and then we just pipe? pipe. We just pipe you tell me. as you like. Beautiful. And then we stop. Yes, good. And then. And then. <laughs> I love this. I mean, she's an executive pastry chef. So I love being like her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're that little Sue. And then exactly. we go again. We do another layer, and then we do another layer of cream. So I like to do three layers of dough, two layers, or three layers of puff, and then two layers of cream. Can inside. I tell you what I like about this? When it's super hot outside, I, like, I love desserts, but I tend to step away from desserts that are really rich because it just makes me feel thick. I like how light this is, thank but it, there's a sweetness to it, but it's not heavy. Yes, thank it, you. It like, quenches the taste buds. It is. Perfect. And then, Perfect. I'm gonna use that. Use <laughs> the taste buds. I you love that. Me, I'll give you more. Th yes, <laughs> yes. Well, that is. And then we dust it with a little powdered sugar. And put the beautiful. And then we put some it. berries around there. You know, whatever's in season. Now, beside the raspberry there, and for the folks that are watching now out yes. of California, yes. they can't find berries sure. in December. Yes. What mm -hmm. can you substitute this for? Mm -hmm. Move to California. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> All right, let's get, yes, let's get in there. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. You're gonna love it. Yes, you're gonna love it. Yes, so light. All that mm. crispy and all that crispy and light. Mmm. Oh. Mm. So good. Mm. Mm. Yep. It just uh, yes. keeps going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. 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 It's so delicious. My goodness. Mm. Yeah. That is really good. And for the full recipe, you can head to hallmarkchannel.com. Mm. My gosh, this is so good, Sally. Mm. I adore you. Plus, mm. to roll or to fold? That is the question we all face when trying to get the most out of our limited suitcase space, right? So what do you think, roll or fold? Both. Roll. 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 And when we come back, rising star Bastion Baker has a very special performance in store for us. Come on back, everybody.